The Earth floats in the universe, and it is not an exaggeration at all to describe it as a speck of dust, as the vastness of the universe far exceeds human imagination. To grasp the insignificance of humanity more intuitively, this video will take you on a journey from Earth to the farthest reaches of the boundless universe, exploring a series of ultimate mysteries yet to be uncovered. Our first stop is the Moon, the only natural satellite of Earth and the only extraterrestrial body humans have ever landed on. Its surface is covered with craters, visible almost everywhere. We then arrive at Mars, a desolate, barren desert. Today, several rovers, including China's Zhu Rong, have explored the surface of Mars. Next, we fly past the asteroid belt, a densely populated region composed of at least 500,000 small celestial bodies, and arrive at Jupiter. Jupiter is 321 times the size of Earth, making it the largest planet in the solar system, with a massive storm vortex capable of swallowing Earth, known as the Great Red Spot. Saturn, on the other hand, is distinguished by its spectacular rings, which are composed of billions of tiny ice blocks and snowballs, each like a small moon. Finally, we reach Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants at the edge of the solar system. Beyond them lies the famous Kuiper Belt, which only five man-made probes, including Voyager and New Horizons, have visited. This is also where Pluto is located. In 1950, Dutch astronomer Jan Oort proposed a bold hypothesis that the entire solar system is surrounded by a massive spherical cloud, known as the Oort cloud, composed of numerous inactive comets, with a diameter of around two light years. However, due to the vast distance, it has never been directly observed and probably never will be. As we move further outward from the Oort cloud, we see more and more firefly-like bright spots, each representing a star, clustered together to form the Milky Way. Our Milky Way is an ordinary spiral galaxy, like an island glowing with light. Extending from its center are a few majestic arms, and our Earth is located on the Orion Arm, 26,000 light years away from the bright core. Further beyond the Milky Way, we encounter a group of around 50 galaxies, known as the Local Group covering a range of 10 million light years, like a cluster of luminous islands in the cosmos. But above this is an even larger structure, the Virgo supercluster, with a diameter of at least 100 million light years, consisting of around 2,000 galaxies, a much larger cosmic system where our Milky Way is merely an unremarkable dot of light. However, even the Virgo supercluster is just a small part of the much larger Laniakea supercluster, a colossal cosmic structure bound together by around 100,000 galaxies, with a terrifying diameter of 520 million light years. Above this, the universe is filled with large-scale filament-like structures, stretching throughout space, together forming the entire observable universe. In March 2013, based on data from the European Space Agency's Planck Telescope, it was determined that the precise age of the universe is 13.82 billion years. Since the universe is constantly expanding, the entire observable universe, with a radius of 46.5 billion light years from Earth, marks the limit of what humans can observe. What lies beyond this range is unknown to anyone. Yet, having reached this point, we must ponder a profound question. As the saying goes, Man is as insignificant as a grain of sand in the vast ocean. We are but grains of sand in the universe, and in the grandest scales, even everything about human civilization seems insignificant. So why should we be so obsessed with fame and fortune? 